All right. Crispy. Team Crispy. All right, so today we're going to be rebuilding our computers. And uh, pretty much I bought a new case as detailed in the previous video, which is right over here. And uh, yeah, so I'm basically going to be giving Chris my 600T, which is here. And then he is going to be putting his shit in it. Oh, uh, yeah, and then the 200R, I don't know where the hell that thing's going to go. I may build my Ivy bridge build back into it. Yeah. Um, yeah, this, this case actually... <laughs> Ryan made me buy this case way back in 2013. Did of. I? I don't even yeah. remember. Yeah, you were like, your case is fucking shit, dude. You need to, like, get a better case. And, and I was like, I can't, don't have enough money. You're like, get the 200R, it's cheap. So I did. <laughs> And I don't even remember that. That's kind of funny. So yeah, basically, the to explain the deal a little bit further, he we were gonna build a ridiculous PC, but ultimately he decided to just get that thing. Yeah, I decided to just cop the MacBook Pro instead, of which there will be a video on at some point. Just be patient. I just have to use it for a little bit longer. So basically, because he blew his wad on that thing, obviously he can't build a ridiculous PC, but he still wants to compensate for uh, his small EP, and so I figured. To be not be a bit nice, he's gonna get my i7, and I mean his 47, um, his his 4690K for my 4790K. Yeah, so so that way small he bump. The, he has the best of the Haswell generation. He and doesn't have to pay exorbitant eBay prices because for some reason they're still like two hundred and fifty dollars on eBay, which is ridiculous because like n new they were three fifty new. Yeah. when they were the current processor so so anyway we are going to be disassembling both of our computers we're pretty much just going to take them both apart at the same time and that way we'll just swap cases i'll build mine to the new and he will build his into the 600t so stay tuned okay so i got my motherboard and cpu out of here so right over here so there's that and here's my gtx 970 that is all going in the new build along with my sound card and so, yeah, I just got to get my power supply out, which I've already disconnected, and my two hard drives, and I am pretty much done, I'm ready to start building, so. Somehow he got mm. done way faster than I, but then again, I have a whole bunch of shit I have to deroute to do this. Yeah, so, just got to get these two guys out in the power supply, and then I'm done, and I can open up the NZXT and start building my shit. Alright, so here is the new case, the NZXT H700i. Of course, we have tempered glass on the side and uh, before I start putting stuff in here I need to take my cooler off and then swap CPUs with Chris's board which is right here at the i7 4790k right there and so yeah almost done just gotta get a bunch of crap out of here I don't think these fans will even fit in the new case well what size are they 140 yeah, they should because in here, I think. Oh yeah, it, I forgot. Okay. See, it has mounting locations for a bunch of different fans. So. I think I have a fan that watch like a big fan. I think I saw the old big big fan that was up there. Hmm. Okay. Well, there you go. I'll go ahead and start doing the CPU swap, and then we'll get some stuff in there. Okay, so the 4790K is installed. Sorry that it's upside down, but you should be able to read that anyway. And you got the uh, Corsair H100i V2 water cooler. This is, uh, like I said, the V2, so I had the uh, V1 before, so this is a little bit different than what I'm used to, but I'll figure it out. And, uh, yeah. And I like this cooler. Be Quiet, I think Dark Rock it is. Really nice cooler. Comes with a nice fan. It's in that stack somewhere. It's at the bottom. I'm not going to get it. What I hate is they don't give you the hardware to put two fans on this. <laughs> Yeah. Because I prefer to run duels with, with the tower cooler because, you know, it looks better to me. But yeah, so my 600T is all done. He's going to get it. And that thing's going in the trash. Oh, and I need to get my IO shield out of there. Uh, there done. <laughs> all right. Okay, now that I uh, don't feel like killing myself, um, had to get a little creative with the cooler mounting because the geniuses at Fry's or Corsair, I'm not sure who to blame, forgot the thumb screws to mount the block onto the board. And so what I had to do was I stole some unused motherboard standoffs from the rest of the case and I used washers and those to thread them in and I think it'll work because this thing is on there pretty good. I don't think we're going to have any problems with that. But yeah, thank you Fry's for 
destroying that. <laughs> so yeah, I just got the motherboard in and the, and the uh, SSD. I got to put a couple more parts in and get this baby back together. Though to be fair, we have to. I have to point out. I mean, this is a Corsair refurbished part. It may have been Corsair's fault, but I'm. We're gonna blame fries anyway because this ha always happens to fries. Yep. Every time we go to fries, like, like there's some always something missing in the box or something like that. So. Anyway, I'm going to continue here, and hopefully uh, this will be worth it. All right, ladies and gents, here it is, finally. So, yeah, I already mentioned the uh, predicament with the cooler, but I was able to uh, make it work. And uh, like I said, it's, it's pretty stable, so I don't think I'm going to have any issues with that, to be honest. And, uh, yeah, mismatched RAM, I know some of you will complain about that. Triggered! But, uh, <laughs> Triggered! So yeah, I think it looks pretty sweet. This case is uh, pretty dope, and it'll look even better once I get the glass side panel on, but I kind of want to make sure that it boots before I do that. And uh, yeah, this uh, took a bit longer than anticipated, mainly because of that cooler predicament, but other than that, should be pretty cool. This case also come with, came with two built-in LED light strips, of which one is right here. I decided to put it there, and then there's another one up here that uh, was pre-installed. So yeah, so... Once this guy is done messing with his stuff, I'm going to go ahead and plug this in and hope it works. Alright people, there it is, the new whip. So, got a few different colors going on there. What the hell? <laughs> Moving over right along, I got a few different colors going on there because the Corsair fans in the top are blue. And, uh, let me see if I can show you that. Yeah, so the Corsair fans are blue, the LED strip is white, my motherboard is red, so I got a bunch of different colors, but red, white, and blue looks pretty good, so, yeah. I'm, America! <laughs> I'm really happy with that. Looking at our temperatures, it looks like the cooling worked because we're sitting at, like, 28, which is pretty cold, so, yeah. I think everything worked, and it booted right up, no problem, so I think everything worked. So, yeah, and, uh... This guy's worked also, so should be good. Yeah. Now I gotta clean this uh, gigantic mess up and continue with my life. So, <laughs> thank you guys for watching this vlog of rebuilding our computers, and I will see you guys later.